Hey folks, it's Jeff for Mad Hatter Reefs. Today we're going to talk about cleaning power equipment. Um, all you're going to need is a five gallon bucket, some white vinegar. I've heard of people using cider vinegar before, a toothbrush, scrub my power heads, and whatever equipment that you're going to be cleaning. Alright, so I have the power heads in the bucket with RODI water. You do not want to use uh, tap water for cleaning your equipment. Um, you don't use tap water to do water changes, so you're not going to use it to clean your, your power equipment that goes inside your aquarium. So I'm going to take the vinegar, and I'm gonna, I got about that much left in it. I'm actually just going to use all of it. Um, I don't measure it out. I figure, you know, if I give it a good rinsing, once it's done, um, we're all set. So you can already, already see uh, some of the allergy has came off the power heads, just putting in that little bit. And those pumps have probably been out of water for uh, a month, easy. So what I'm going to do is let these soak. I'm actually will turn on the power head so it moves around the water when I let them soak overnight. So after they've been in the bucket uh, for a day or two, I'll grab my toothbrush and scrub off all the stuff. It actually comes off very, very easily at that point. Um, I'll just rinse it a little bit here and there and go back at it. Um, after I'm done scrubbing, what I'll do is I'll get rid of this water and get some fresh RODI water and plug them back in and let them run just in the RO water for another day. Then I'll take them out and let them dry. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, if you have any questions, shoot me an email. Alright guys, thanks.